you must be an action taker when it comes to government contract. There's opportunities that are coming down the pipeline on a regular daily basis, like literally every hour across every agency, across um, all three levels of government, there are opportunities that are coming down the pipeline and all those opportunities are tied to a specific deadline. When it comes to government contracting, um, it is not for everyone. I, I do want to say that you have to be um, a high level thinker. You have to be an action taker. So there's, so there's, it's not for everyone, right? There's um, only established businesses could really do this, and um, it's the only highly lucrative um, business method that I've seen that actually works in a short period of time. Okay. So let us dive into, um, number one, it's not, it's not really for everyone. And, um, I say that because even though anybody can do business with the government, it's really not for everyone. There are small business entrepreneurs who don't really understand their worth. They don't, they don't know that they're worth investing in themselves to educate themselves on how to actually do this successfully. Um, they don't know that they're worth to get paid more value for the exact same thing that they're underpaid and overworked for. They don't really know that. And it's, it's not to anybody's fault. Um, it's just that, of course, we've been programmed to believe and think a certain kind of way. And all of that programming plays a part into what we are actually 3D living, right? What we're living in, in real life and the results that we actually um, attract in, in our business, in our relationships and all that other, all those other important areas. So it's really not anyone's particular fault. It's just that government contract is not for everybody. Some people are not ready. Some people, um, you know, some small business entrepreneurs have to do a lot of more personal, professional development before they can really grow to the level of becoming a premium entrepreneur that that's required for you to actually do business with the government. Some of you have to like further develop exactly what your, what your, not only your dreams and your goals are, but, um, what is your purpose, right? Um, what problems do you solve? What is your contribution, um, into this business world, right? So some of you, um, have to, you know, get to know you a little bit more and, and, and what it is that you actually do. So, um, and I say that because, um, of course, over the past few years, and I've been in business for over, you know, two decades, well, well over two decades. And there's a lot that I've seen. There's a lot of people that I've seen come, a lot of people that I've seen go, a lot of people that I've seen success, a few you know, a lot of people that I've um, seen fail um, drastically with because they... Um, didn't have what it took to like get back up and learn from their mistakes and progress forward, but they give up too soon, right? And so it just kind of reminds me of um, a, a worship song that talks about uh, reaching beyond the break, right? Re you got to learn to reach beyond the break because um, if you are not equipped for some of the things that you have to sustain as an entrepreneur in business and growth and development, um, then of course it's gonna be more difficult for you and it's easy to give up. And so um, so three types of people who it actually works, can work for um, are action takers. You must be an action taker when it comes to government contract. There's opportunities that are coming down the pipeline on a regular daily basis, like literally every hour across every agency, across um, all three levels of government, there are opportunities that are coming down the pipeline and all those opportunities are tied to a specific deadline, right? Which means that if you're a person who procrastinates, then this is probably not gonna be the best um, working like type of relationship for you. This is not gonna be like the best experience for you because those deadlines, like they're very um, strict on getting documents in on a certain time, um, on a certain date, in a certain method. And so you definitely have to be an action taker in order to meet and exceed those requirements, right? And so if you're not an action taker, a lot of opportunities, like you can just watch pass by because maybe you thought you had time or maybe you thought you can get it in after the deadline if you plead your case. No, you have to be an action taker. Um, literally, they, some of the opportunities like that are 
on the pipeline today. If you take action today, within 90 days, you can actually be cashing out on those opportunities. And so, um, so you definitely have to be an action taker. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying it. I wanted to take some time to invite you to join me in the GovCon challenge. The GovCon challenge takes place once a month where I invite a bunch of entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs to come and have me teach you the five things you must do to pre-qualify your business to land lucrative contracts with the government. So join me in the GovCon challenge. Click on the link in the description. You'll be glad you did. Join as VIP for exclusive behind the scenes information and you could become a part of the top 1% of entrepreneurs across the nation. Now back to the video you were watching. Um, the, the second type of person who this works for are decision makers. So you have to be decisive. You have to be willing to, to make a, decis a, a decisive decision of, of whether or not you're going to go after certain opportunities, whether or not you want to work with certain um, primes or certain subcontractors, or whether or not you want to be the prime yourself or the middleman. You have to be willing to make a decision, whether or not you want to think outside the box and um, strategically come up with a way to get a piece of the pie. And so uh, you, whether or not you have to decide whether or not you want to stick to um, your specific brand of a apparel or t-shirt or shoe or something like that or if you want to be open-minded and actually um, be the solution that's already out there in the marketplace and provide the the apparel that's non-branded that maybe there's a, a million dollar contract out there for right now or even if it's a quarter of a million, or um, I wouldn't care if it was a $10,000 contract. If those opportunities are there and you're, you're not unable to make those type of decisions, then it's probably is not gonna be the best venture for you. So you have to be decisive. Um, a solution maker, okay? Are you a person who is looking into government contracts because it sounds good or because it's trendy? Or do you really care about the work that you're putting out in the marketplace? Do you really care about um, the service that you provide or the products that you provide of how it actually impacts um, you know, the environment or how it actually impacts people in general or globally? What is your impact? And so um, you definitely want to um, position yourself. So what I find in my line of work um, as a government contractor and as an expert who also coaches and consult with other small businesses and teaching them how to do this, when you position your business as a business that solves the problems that the government is saying, here, we have problems. One of the problems could be we need more paper, right? You may actually run into an opportunity where you can source that paper and provide that paper in exchange for three hundred thousand dollars, right? But it only costs you like forty or you know thousand or less, right? So now you're talking about increasing your profit margins and doing something very simple. So, but you have to solve that problem in order to get the contract. You got to be willing to solve the problem in order to get that contract.